We welcome you to San Diego. It's a beautiful night. The Padres are so glad to be back home again. Where tonight, it's game one of three, an interleague series between the Toronto Blue Jays and the San Diego Padres. On the mound for the Padres tonight is Matt Waldron. 27-year-old, the knuckleball pitcher, the pitcher who has a knuckleball. He's been throwing it more lately, makes his fourth start. It would be nice to get a little bit of support for the right-hander. Not getting a lot of runs his way. Four total runs. The support of 2.5 run support average for Matt Waldron. Bo Bichette will lead off. One of the many second generation major leaguers in the building tonight. There's a ground ball towards third. Tyler Wade on the run. And in time for out number one. Good stretch there by Cronenworth with the throw a tad to the right field side. Here is Vladimir Guerrero Jr. There's a pop up right around the mound area. Wade coming from third will call everybody off and make the catch for out number two. So two down here's Justin Turner and it seems they remember Justin Turner from his Dodger days here as he was booed loudly 147 games against them and Turner hitting 295 with 25 homers in his career against the Padres. This one in the air to center it's well hit and it's gone just beyond the reach of Merrill out in center field. And Justin Turner obviously likes hidden here. He has his second of the season, and the Blue Jays have the early lead. First innings have been a problem for Waldron. Now four of his five extra base hits surrendered have come in the first inning, and both of the home runs he's given up this season have come in the first inning. Uriel Rodriguez on the mound tonight for the Jays. Boy, a lot of high side, a lot of top side for this kid right here making his second start. He's got good live stuff. The Bogarts, who's actually off to a very slow start this year. He's hitting just 200, an OPS of just, as you can see, 535. And now he hits a high drive left center field. And and jumping at the wall and making the catch is Dalton Varsho. Holy cow! Boy, Dalton Varsho had a beat on that ball from the moment it was in the air, and he just stayed with it. Of course, he knows this ballpark, having played here before with the Diamondbacks. So Tatis at first on the walk, one out here in the bottom of the first, and here's the first baseman, Jake Cronenworth. And strike three call. Boy, you could hear it from Junior Valentine. But you had to wait about a second and a half to see it as Rodriguez is right over the outside corner for strike three. Two down, Fernando at first and Manny Machado. 11 game hitting streak coming in. 326 during that time. And he got him. He strikes out a Machado. He strikes out two in the inning. Danny Jansen starting his second game with 0 for 3 in his first. Here's Jansen getting into one. Deep left center field and it's off the wall. And Jansen into second with a loud double. Way outside ball four. Missed that time with a breaking ball. Biggio walks. Biggio back to first. Jansen back to second. And the number nine hitter. Maybe the most dangerous number nine hitter in the American League last year. Kevin Kiermeyer coming up. Then the fastball's lined into left center. A base hit for Kiermeyer. Jansen will score. It's over run out in center. Here comes Biggio to the plate, and he will score. Boy, what a terrific piece of base running by Kevin Biggio. Danny Jansen knows he's going to score on this ball. Biggio ran around the bases on the Kiermaier double and looked at the third base coach, and Carlos Fabless waves him home. So 3 nothing Blue Jays hit off the mound, up the middle, and safe at first is Bichette as Bogarts couldn't get a grip on it. Xander Bogarts came across the bag and made a grab, and then when he went to throw it, it didn't set right in his hand, so he had to double clutch it and grab it again, so Bo will reach first base. An infield hit for Bo, and he'll take it. So in this inning where the Blue Jays have already scored two, they have runners on the corners and two outs for Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And he got jammed, and it's going to drop. It'll be an RBI single for Guerrero. Kiermaier in to score, Bichette around a third, and it's four to nothing. Now Justin Turner, he homered to straightaway center his first time up. And this is lined into center for a base hit. Jogging home Bichette. Guerrero up to second, and it's five to nothing. Blue Jays kind of ambush the Padres here in the second. So one out, nobody on for Fernando. Padres trying to chip away here what is a five-run deficit. Driven to left field. That is back. That is gone. The scoring begins on a home run by Fernando Tatis Jr., his sixth of the year. Padres.
Padres are on the board. Thanks to Nando. Here's Jerickson Profar to lead off the bottom of the fourth. And finally, Rodriguez gets him. Strikeout number six on the night. Yeah, it looked like a backdoor breaking ball. He just kind of threw to the outside. Here's Hassan Kim, who struck out his first time up. Biggio coming over to his left, and he'll make the catch. Two down. 2-2. Two -two. Got him. And another pump of the fish, just as we saw in his last start when he came off the field. Seven strikeouts through four innings for Yariel Rodriguez. Bobachet today, one for three. That's fair. Boy, he stringed it out by about a, an inch and a half, and that's enough to get him a base hit. Big jump by Bichette. Throw down, not in time. And we've seen this three or four times from Bo, getting a huge kind of running lead. Sometimes so big he had to shut it down and go back to first. That time he kept going and he stole it easily. He waves at that pitch and strikes out. So Kolek getting his first out. It's a strikeout, two down. Check swing grounder. That's a fair ball, and it's headed to Cronenworth, and barely out of the box was Turner. And he's out number three. Seventh inning stretch. Blue Jays have a 5-1 lead. So it's still 5-1 Blue Jays. Nobody has scored since the third. It's now top nine. Isaiah Kiner Falefa lines one to right, and that's going to get past Tatis. It's rolling all the way to the track. Kiner Falefa's on his way to third, and he'll be held there. Well, that's not a good decision right there. Leading off in the inning, number eight hitter hits the ball that's sinking. Play it on a hop, concede the single, but he went for the catch, and it ends up being a triple for Isaiah Kiner Falefa. Swing and a miss, and Maury Holm with a strikeout. Third K for Maury Holm. One out here in the ninth. Logan Gillespie into the game now for San Diego. I think he went. He'll check. He did. Strike three. Two down. Strike three call. Nicely done by Gillespie. Comes in and strikes out the two hitters he faces. We're going to the bottom of the ninth. Looking for some magic tonight at San Diego. Well, the Padres have work to do as they come back in the bottom of the ninth. Nice job by Gillespie to get those two strikeouts to end last inning. Manny Machado makes his way plateward. They are going in a non safe situation with their closer, Jordan Romano. Fly ball center field deeply struck Kiermaier back to make the catch right in front of the wall ground ball right side Schneider slides over and throws out pro far two down in the ninth inning and the one two he got him a swing and a miss at a good slider down low Romano finishes it off. And the Blue Jays come west to San Diego, get some good offense early, some good pitching and defense throughout, and it's all hugs and smiles as they win the opener by a score of 5-1. to